everyone it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays and I've got here my final project of my son's um, third birthday album the one that I made with the Home Depot apron tool belt type um, binding satchel thing that I bought and just like all my projects I love it I'm not finished with all the journal journaling and stuff like that on the inside but all my uh, preparing and pages are all done. So this is the front cover and the tool belt has the pockets that if you were to wear it like an apron around your waist that's where you would put your tools and I've decided to put all of his birthday cards that he gets from our family that I keep. And I always think, I wonder why I keep all these things. And I thought, what a neat place to put them. So I put them on the front and the back pockets. Um, the back page or the back cover, it has, uh, I'm kind of covering it because it's got some private information, but uh, it's the back part of his invitation. And when I open up the album, I'll show you that. And so it just so happened by chance that my sister-in-law, um, who scrapbooks as well, she had made uh, my son a card and she coincidentally used the same paper too. So you've got to remember my son is now four and this was his third birthday party. So I would have had no idea that I was going to use um, this paper. And this is also her creative touch too. She does these cute little things either on their gifts or uh, just just these very sentimental things and I know this is something I kept from her where she's got a picture of my son and he loves to drink with those you know pretend wine glasses at Christmas time and so hopefully there's not that much glare and you can see and this is like a little either you know faux leather type thing and on the inside she's made that with her Cricut um, and it's happy birthday from Tia Marlene and that's so cute. So I put that on the cover and then I added a paper clip. This is how she made her card. She made it a pocket card for a tag. And over here on this Tim Holtz, um, I don't know what you call it, swivel clasp. I have all these little tools that I got from the dollar store a long time ago when I was throwing the party and I just kept it. And I've hung it all there and I added a paper clip because this is the paper clips that I've used within the album itself. So this is what it looks like. I think it turned out fabulous. These are all the fibers that come off of just the tags only. So those are those would be the tags that I cut out with my Cricut from the leftover paper. Um, I used washi tape that I bought from a scrapbooking crafts art supply store here that we have and I love it. I know you've all probably heard of it and used it but I think it's really fun and this is the only pattern that I did purchase and I've been using it all over the place. I used Allie Edwards, I don't know what this one's called, oh beautiful I guess that's what it's called but I love her stamps. I only have small sets. I don't have big sets, but I think I'm going to invest in her big sets because the quality of stamping is amazing. I used the die cuts and the sticker sheets from the paper collection, and I also used a recollection stamp set uh, for boys that I bought a long time ago, and this one, I don't know what it's called, but I, I loved it, and I used some Colorbox Fluid Chalk Ink and my Stays On Ink Pad as well to do like I always do. Just stamp them all up. Same thing. One, two, three. Keep going because that's how I like to do it. It makes it easier. So I do close it up on the binding or on the inside. It doesn't really hold anything closed to be honest. It's just to make the apron stay shut. So this is the invitation that I made. Um, for the party and I used the paper doll dress up and I cut out the little construction guy and I embossed the hammer with the embossing powder and I ran the metallic paper through the cuddle bug folder and that would be the other side of the invitation and that's how they went out to people so it was just one-sided and I loved the way he turned out with his little shirt and stuff like that. Um, I did do chipboard to stabilize the binding and then hot glued down everything. I used the washi tape to hide some of my 
not so tidy edges, but overall I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. I mean, I love it. I'm not too much of a perfectionist. I like things to be just easy, fun, and fast, and I had a lot of fun with this album. I used a lot of, I guess you can call it the junk journaling technique, where you add a band of either stickered pattern paper or the washi tape in this instance, and I created flaps. And I'm really liking that style. And so, of course, in good Monica fashion, if I like something, I do it to death, pretty much. And uh, if if you look if you look and see, you know, throughout, most everyone wants to get more pictures in, more space. Um, you guys call it more real estate within your minis. This is definitely one way to do it. So I cut out pattern paper to mount on the back sides of my photos so that there'd be no um, negative photo backing. There would always be pattern paper. So even underneath the other ones that I flipped around, there's pattern paper on this side so that when we flip the page over, you're not looking at white negative space. So I haven't done any of the journaling and that's all the stamping that I did for now. I didn't do any distressing and I used chipboard and covered it with some more pattern paper on the other side and used them as little lifts for um, the flappy pages or just as decorative accents totally down on the page. Each page has um, three photographs into the three pod pockets on the inside and I've gone ahead and matted them on the back as well with pattern paper. I haven't finished that for all of them because there's a lot of journaling and um, matting that I still need to do and I will go back and do that um, when it's quieter tonight and finish that up. I don't know how much of this you can get within there but the album is pretty big and it's beautiful. Here again is some chipboard that I've put down from the pattern paper and uh, everyone was asked to come and be dressed up just like Bob the Builder and there's that page with the flap down um, I didn't put a paper clip here or anything like that, but you could add a paper clip. And that's what I did. I cut angles, drew lines, cut angles on the papers. Again, inside here there's either tags or there's, um, I don't even know where that one stuck to. Oh, I put fibers on the, the brads. So every brad has a fiber to it too. This is my next page, and using the stickers from the paper collection, I, I made the flaps come open, and this tag actually comes from here. So it says cute with the buttons up there because his face is too cute. And there he is with his sister on his little riding truck. And he's so big now, it, it's, it's wonderful. I think creating a mini album with your pictures just to me, anyhow, I, I hope that you guys feel the same, or maybe this is the inspiration that you're looking for. Um, it makes it that much easier. When I when I look at the pictures that I capture of my children and of my, of my family, that means a lot to me. So that just encourages me to do more. This page is why I said that I love Allie Edwards stamps. So the You Are Beautiful is from Allie Edwards, and the 100% Boy is from the Recollection stamp set. And when I stamped it with the stays on and the chalk ink, I love the way it turned out. It was almost as if I, I don't know, photoshopped it on or, I just loved it. It makes me so happy to get stamping that wicked, that cool to me. And uh, again, negative space on your photograph. You can either put stickers, stamps as I've done, you know, anything really. So here's where I created kind of like a, a gatefold all the way down to there, tucked in a tag behind this picture, and uh, just loved it. Again, the pockets all have pictures within them. Here I used um, a die cut where it's supposed to be for ribbon, and I, I purposely used that. This is a picture of myself and my husband, and it's permanently stuck down. There's a paper clip here on this flap. Again, some of the die cuts from the collection itself so that I can do the flap down. And I used, because I just got my um, corner chomper that does the ticket stub edge, decorative edge, and I just love it. So everything has been corner chomped. 
Here's another picture of my hubby and then of my son with his pinata. And then I left it as two full four by six photos because that's the whole point. We take pictures that include so many family members that I don't know who to cut off so everybody gets there. And if you can see and you can notice behind my papers, as I was saying, all of them are um, mounted and backed with pattern paper so that there is no negative white space towards it. Here I just added some stickers and stuff like that. I kind of like the picture with, you know, my daughter in the foreground. Here I used uh, a sticker, backed it onto chipboard, put some more pattern paper on the back, distressed it and used it as my tab to flip it open. Love that picture of him staring up at the people at work sign. Um, does this one flap down? Nope. Here again using the stickers, created some flaps. It's interesting on this little um, cupcake stand, my sister-in-law used the same cartridge that I used for the invitations and she made all the little shovels and hammers and stuck them on toothpicks and put them within the cupcakes as a decorative feature. That's a picture of my daughter. And then on this side again it was one of those die cuts that you're supposed to put a brad through. And I flipped the picture around this time instead of having the picture facing up, the picture is actually facing on the inside. And that's a picture of my brother and my daughter. And more pockets. Some of the flaps, instead of making it a flap down, I glued them shut with hot glue and made it another pocket. And this is the back of my album. Again, ironically, my in-laws card um, same thing, was made from the same paper a long time ago, and I think that's beautiful. So it's just so funny how things work out. There's another paper clip here, and I love this last picture of my son, because he's got that, <laughs> I'm gonna get you with my drill look on his face. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's a funny thing to me, I guess. It's a cute thing. And then, last page again, a picture of him, and I'm gonna be doing some more journaling on the back. And then you've got the back side with his cards. I fit an enormous amount of photographs in here, full size. Like I, I barely cut them down, and the ones that I did cut down, I, you know, used my chomper on. But I really am pleased that I honestly believe I got, oh, I don't know, 40 some, 50 some odd pictures in here, full size or whatnot. And I love the way that it turned out. I love that it was with my Cricut and that I made, you know, some useful use, useful use, <laughs> some good use out of my cartridge and paper that I have had for a long time. This is my favorite page because, or picture, because of the stamping. And I, I feel like every time I make an album, I learn something. I learn, you know, that if I push myself harder to try something, even if it doesn't work out, fabulous things happen. So um, with all respect to my family members who are in this book, I hope you guys are okay with me showing these pictures. It's a beautiful memory of my son's third birthday. And for me, it's just easier to scrapbook with the pictures in front. I, I, I like them there. When I make an empty album, sadly, but most of the times they stay empty because I don't go back to them. This is my favorite style. Print your pictures, grab your paper, you know, bust out your Cricut, make something fun, use the stamps that you have, find what stamps make you happy. You know, if there's a style that you've been keeping on or hanging on to that, you know, is creating some scrapbooking block for you or you just don't know what to do, it's okay. Give it to someone, donate it, put it aside, buy something new, invest in something that makes you happy, like I always say, and you probably think I'm a weirdo, but something that makes you smile because this is something that I want to look at when I'm rickety old with my kitty cats on my lap and I want to look at the pictures of my children, my family members, you know, such good sports to dress up for us and play along with the Bob the Builder theme. Um, as, as I didn't even mention, but we went full out. We put all the food on little trucks and stuff. We washed out his toy trucks and we used it all. We went all the way out and it, it's a lot of fun. But these are memories. This is real life. This is what happened to us. So have fun. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it inspires you to do something. It wasn't hard. It was fast. It was literally, you know, put the pages down, glue it, 
and uh, have a lot of fun. So hopefully this is this is good and inspiring to you and uh, I'll be back with another mini album because like I told you before I developed 1050 photos so there's lots of mini albums coming up for the winter season. Take care guys.